welcome back to code monk uh, in our previous video we learned how to install mongodb and uh, use it through mongo shell uh, uh, in this video we are going to see how to install compass a gui tool to explore mongodb and go to mongodb downloads page I'm selecting Ubuntu. We are going to use Ubuntu machine uh, to demo Compass. Now install it. Uh, at the dpkg command so to sudo dpkg if i package name uh, i think uh, we got some errors you can fix these errors using sudo apt iphone f Install. This will fix the dependency issues. Yeah, require and install required dependencies. And just try to reinstall it again. Now it will be installed without any errors. Now it should be installed without any errors. Yeah, the installation has been completed. Now we can uh, open the compass from this menu, application menu. You can see there is an input and uh, it is empty. It is uh, by default, it is pointing to the default port. You can try to connect to the MongoDB server. If you have not installed MongoDB, you can uh, check my uh, uh, previous video about how to install MongoDB. Uh, we are trying to connect to the MongoDB in the default port. Uh, it is still connecting. I think uh, something wrong. It should have connected by now, but uh, it is not. It, uh, it failed to connect. It thinks uh, uh, something wrong with the server. We can check the server status using as we saw in our uh, earlier video. Uh, we can check the status of the MongoDB using system control command. sudo system control status MongoDB. Yeah, the server is not running, it is saying that it is inactive. The server is not running and it is saying that it is inactive. So we can uh, start the server using sudo system control start mongodb. Yeah, we can check the status now. And the database is running now. Yeah, now we can connect. Yeah, it is working now. In the left side menu, we can see the host name and the port and the version of MongoDB. Uh, now we can uh, create new database and we can also collection along with the database 
we can set it as a cap if you want to set the collection as a capital collection you can set it there and uh, we will see what is capital collection and uh, what is the benefits of that in our uh, future videos we have created just we had just created our uh, collection and uh, i'm just creating one more collection products yeah you can yeah you can uh, now we are into the uh, collection if we have any documents it will show up here uh, for now our collection is empty if you want to add a document you can uh, use that add data and insert document we can uh, enter the key uh, data as a key value pairs we are just uh, entering some basic data name stock price and just click on insert to save the document yeah uh, the document has been saved and if you want to add another document you can add uh, again you can repeat the same and then we'll just add one more document this is the pretty view that you can use that is a document and a list view is there can use it to preview the data mongodb doesn't have any schema you can add a different key value pairs for different documents for date uh, for example for date you have to use iso string you can uh, here you can uh, type as the data Can easily type as the data like this just uh, by clicking on it you can select the um, different data type now you can you can filter the documents like this uh, in the input you can pass the query criteria in the input filter input and you can filter out the documents Uh, if you want to project specific fields you can use that project uh, um, input to pass the projection fields same as how we pass it for mongodb and the third field is to sort the documents uh, Yeah, now it has only two fields in the output as our projection has only two fields specified in it and this is the list and document view and the table view uh, we can project the data in different ways if you want to export the data you can uh, do this like uh, if you want to export a full collection or if you want to export a specific uh, data you can do it from here you can select the fields that is required in the output now you can select the data format that is json or csv and you can uh, um select a destination and the file name yeah now click on export yeah it has been exported as a json you can uh, if you have a json you can uh, the same way you can also import the data back to the uh, database
if you want to drop a collection you can drop it like this just before uh, we export out the data as uh, json the same way we can also import the data from the json or csv files I just created a new collection and I'm going to import the data here. Just click on add data. If you want to import the data from the file, you can use uh, import file option in the add data. Select the file that you want to import the data from. From here, you can perform aggregations. And if you want to analyze schema, you can also explore indexes that is uh, created. If you want to delete the database, uh, you can uh, find that option. Just click on that, uh, hover on that database. You can find that delete icon. Click on that. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And uh, subscribe our channel for more updates.